Otherwise, this car was not called extravagant at one time. There was a lot of interesting and curious in it, but also a lot of controversial. Well, today we will try to figure out what all the tricks of 3008 ended up with over time. Peugeot 3008 second generation produced since 2016. The second generation of the crossover has completely changed, although it has not changed its main essence, shocking. The 150 horsepower 1.6 THP petrol turbo engine remained on the market, joined by an extremely economical 2.0 liter Blue HD diesel engine of the same power. The French no longer offer manual transmission, relying on a six-speed automatic transmission. The car has not changed its front-wheel drive essence. By the way, the 3008 still has the i-cockpit projection display, already of a new generation, and a two-level trunk. When the car appeared on the Russian sky, the opinions of the press about it were radically divided. Some of our colleagues did not want to perceive as a crossover a front-wheel drive car with a small, in general, clearance, raking off-road only with the help of the tricks of a couple of ABS slash ESP. Others were delighted with the unusual interior design, dynamics, exemplary handling for a crossover and simply transcendent functionality of the luggage compartment. As usual, the truth turned out to be somewhere in the middle, and questions began to appear about the reliability of the 3008 over time. In Russia, the car appeared with three 1.6-liter engines, two gasoline engines, a 156-horsepower turbo, a 120-horsepower atmospheric, and a 112-horsepower diesel. There were also three boxes, a five-speed mechanics, a Japanese eyes and automatic machine and a robot relying on a diesel engine, to which many questions immediately arose, and not only in terms of its reliability. Among the repairmen, the car is not considered a champion in childhood diseases. Not too many chronic problems behind her. However, a few typical breakdowns still happen. To start at least with gasoline engines that are fastidious about the quality of fuel. The manufacturer even insisted on the use of cleaning additives. We recommend the VTI petrol aspirator, whose only problem is the timing drive. The chain is stretching, but more often the cause is in the tensioner. There were, however, problems with cooling, thermostat, pump, temperature sensors or sensors that regulate the operation of fans that cool the radiator. The turbo engine adds the problem of soot. Deposits form around the oil pump, in the intake manifold, on the valves, and also in the combustion chamber. Detonation appears and engine malfunctions. Diesel in the secondary market, alas, is also not an option, although many people really like driving at the moment. Diesels have the same problem with soot, and the quality of our solarium, again. Transmission is the opposite. The machine is almost sinless and does not attract too much attention to itself. But with the, the mechanics, as they say, anything happens. For example, in the cold, the cable of the switching mechanism may freeze, sometimes the box crunches. And yes, it doesn't work very well. It is important to monitor when buying a car with a manual gearbox for its general laxity. With the body in the sense of corrosion, serious problems have not yet arisen. The car is still young. But the chrome-plated parts, the forums confirm this, bloom willingly and the thickness of the paintwork at the current environmental standards leaves much to be desired. Suspension deserves special words. Rigid, grippy. When it's good, the 3008 is a pleasure to drive. But this rigidity traditionally shortens the life of the front wheel bearings. Sometimes they do not go even 30,000 kilometers. Replacements are frequent, especially on cars from early years. The ball lever and both silent blocks are changed separately. However, for the original lever assembly, dealers ask not at all godly. But there are almost no questions to the rear axle. Except for one moment, on cars with a 1.6 THP gasoline engine, the DRC, dynamic roll control, system was used. The operation of the system is similar to an active anti-roll bar, which is more complex than a standard torsion beam. When buying such a car with DRC, you need to be careful. The damper connecting the rear shock absorbers is defective. In short, the Peugeot 3008 is still a controversial car. On the one hand, excellent driving characteristics, if we are not talking about off-road. On the other hand, engines sensitive to fuel quality, possible problems with timing and engine cooling. It remains to choose who is more important. Suspension. The DRC system is a great solution, but on the secondary, we would prefer a conventional rear suspension. So more reliable. The dealers did not have repair kits for the DRC. 
so they solved the oil leakage from the middle shock absorber of the system and its associated lines by completely replacing them with new assemblies. And today it can cost up to 50,000 rubles, or even more. Transmission The unsuccessful robot quickly disappeared from sale, so it is almost impossible to run into it. Problems in the transmission can be expected from the gearbox drive shafts. On many Peugeots with significant mileage, they are the ones who can cause trouble. And by and large, neither the MCP nor the AKP have strict contraindications. Engine. Owners of gasoline cars note the possibility of losing power for no reason. The reason is the incorrect operation of the sensors. Salon 3008 warms up unimportantly in cold weather and idle. Moreover, the temperature of the engine can also drop while driving. Almost everyone suffered with the thermostat. Body. The only massive problem was the wear on the thresholds of the body in the doorways. The culprit was rightly appointed hard rubber seals, which rubbed the body. After restyling in 2014, the problem was localized. The rubber became softer, and the owner stopped protecting the body with a special film. So long. The trunk is considered the main strong point of the 3008. Moreover, not because of its volume, but due to functionality and variability and the leather steering wheel braid became the weakest point. Already on small runs, it cracks, stretches and wrinkles, forming folds.